For more on this, I'd like to welcome him, Tudor Dixon, host of the Tudor Dixon podcast and former gubernatorial candidate of Michigan, along with Chandler Crump, conservative commentator. All right, Tudor, go to you first on this one. Ad is my age group, and I am torn by this, but you know what? As I do interview people in the same age group for various companies, yeah, I find out some people are just full of it. Well, it's the first time I felt good about being old because I am not in this group. So I can say that everything I'm telling you is true right now. But I do think Fact. it's a difference because, because these kids grew up with social media. And so they grew up in a world where it was keeping up with your friends yeah. and trying to make sure you look better. And so I think that spills over into the workplace. And I mean, my generation would never have considered lying on a resume. It would be completely absurd to even think about doing that. But this is a generation that has been trying to make themselves look like something they're not for so long. And that's why we see mental health deteriorating in this generation as well. Well, actually, Chandler, let's talk about that mental health because social media is somewhere that people post the best split second capture of you know however many pictures they took to make it look like they're the best brightest and everybody has to fi try to keep up with that emulate that how bad is that for a generation now that seemingly is lying to keep up with it oh man i can tell you i come from the greatest generation about that uh, I can say I'm on the other end of it. I'm actually younger than the millennial generation. I'm a member of Generation Z, and I'd say everything that the millennials are doing, you're going to see Generation Z doing it even to an, a higher extent. I would imagine more than the majority, if not a super majority <sighs> of Generation Z have spent their entire lives building a fallacy, building an entire a wall of just cap around themselves in describing what they are, whether it be on social media or whether it even be in these resumes, because when they grew up on social media, Generation Z is the first generation that only grew up in a period of time surrounded by the internet, surrounded mm -hmm. by social media. And so we were created based off of that. And everything that has ever been posted on social media, you know, it might have existed at one point, it might have been real at some point, but eventually it is fake when it is out there. You cannot verify anything that you see on social media unless you actually go down the routes to doing that. And when it comes to a resume, when it comes to what your average person is posting on social media, there's just no way for it to know to be true. And so Generation Z, millennial generation are very close on that. There is no way to know it's true. Yeah, well, bring but back. I mean, the I mean, I kind of want to say, look at what these young people are even watching when you see all of the reality shows that are not reality <laughs> whatsoever. And these people are putting out pictures and it's like, why does their finger go at a 90 degree angle? Oh, that's because that's not really their finger. They've they have photoshopped everything right. they put out. Nothing is real. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's all fake. Bring back floppy disks. Kamala Harris, though, <laughs> she's probably well, no, not probably. She's definitely the most unqualified vice president we've ever had. Let me play a bit of that sound for you real quick, Chandler. I want you to take this. This is the Essence Festival of Culture. Culture is, it, it is a reflection of our moment and our time, right? And, and, and present culture is the way we express how we're feeling about the moment. And, and we should always find times to express how we feel about the moment. That is a reflection of joy because, you know, it comes in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Shannon, maybe the co maybe the cocaine was hers. I don't know. I mean, I mean, that's exactly <laughs> what I was about to say. I know she's not supposed to spend a lot of time at the White House. She's supposed to be at a different office. She doesn't even live there. But I imagine if it's not Hunter Biden's, it is definitely Kamala Harris's. And I'd say based off of that, I want to get some because it sounds like she doesn't know what she's saying and she's off in La La Land. Listen, there have been so many examples of Kamala Harris being the most unqualified, not only vice president, but even as an orator. I'm 18 years old and I'd say I've given better speeches at that speeches than that when I was 14. But yeah. she just sits there saying the same word over and over again in a different combination of words stew, ex expecting it to really turn into something that people can understand, digest, and say, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the vice to the leader of our nation right there, really giving me facts. No, that was embarrassing. That no. was sad. Yet that is the status quo for Kamala Harris. And in fact, I'd say that's an improvement based on some of her other blunders. And let's <laughs> not even talk right. about Joe Biden. Uh, Tudor, 30 seconds. CEO of BlackRock, Larry Fink. He's not a, we're not a fan here, but he's not saying ESG anymore, but he's still doing it. Well, of course, every time they get caught, they change the name of something. That's the game on the Democrat side. So as long as I change the name, you will no longer know. And that's why we always say that if you pass laws that say we can't have CRT, they'll just rename it. You have to be involved in the culture. You have to be protecting people from the outside. It's not a legal issue. We as people have to band together and say we are not accepting social credit scores. We're going to push back on this. We're going to make sure you can't be debanked. We're going to forget about what the mm -hmm. word is. We're just not going to let it happen.
it's, it's, it's almost like there's a plan in place. Tudor, Chandler, always a pleasure. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Happy to be here.